We are going to go to Today's West story Africa. is all about Anansi and Sorrel and how Sorrel came to be known as Jamaica's Jamaica Christmas drink culture and in the Jamaican heritage in the heritage and the mythology he is the reason why a whole heap of things happen like for example the fact that we call Sorrel or end of year or some people call it their Christmas drink how did it come to be called that? Is Anansi make it? Once upon a long time ago, Anansi was standing by his doorway, watching it was a Christmas Eve or a grand market morning. And Anansi was watching as the people upon them donkey and the people with their uh, bags and their baskets and their crocus bags on top of their heads. They were walking past, going down to grand market. So this is where they were going to sell their ground provisions, their produce, and they would get their money for the end of year for the Christmas celebrations. So, and Nancy watched as they went because he planned that when they were gone, he was going to go back to their fields to scuffle something or to find, to reap, to glean what was left after the reapers had gone through. So when Nancy saw the last of the persons going down, he made his way to the farmlands. And the first person the farmland he got to, he saw nothing left in the field. And he said, oh Lord, no, 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 this cannot be. Not even a chance and nothing, them don't leave. For me, if it's scuffle, they'll hold me go manage, all right? Let me go over Mars Jim land. And he went over to Mars Jim's farmland. When he got there, the field was as clean, as clean as a baby's new baby's bottom. Nothing. And Nancy now started to weep. He said, oh, how am going to manage? Nothing for me scuffled in a how am going to manage? And he kept walking from one person's ground provision plantation to the other and found nothing. He was dejected. He was sad. Because and Nancy was not somebody who worked, really, on a regular basis. So he had nothing of his own to reap. But as he was going along, he said, wait a minute. Oh, there's something else so pretty. He saw this beautiful, very elegant red plant. The leaves were green, but everything else about it was red. Red flowers, and there was something very interesting about it. He had never seen it before. So Nancy broke up a piece, man, and he smelled it. He said, mm, I mean, it had no smell. But if this is all the scufflings may I get, this is what I'm going to scuffle. I'm going to walk with it to market. And he, as he walked, he was breaking off, breaking off, breaking off pieces of this very interesting red plant. He didn't have no name to him yet, you know. But he broke off. And as he broke, he would stick them into his trousers waist so he had more space to carry more of the, of the plant. And so he made his way to Grand Market, down to the market man. And as soon as he got there, he, he, he started to call out. He said, red something, red something for sale. Red something, red something. Buy up your red something for Christmas now. So he said to the lady with the oath eat apples on her stall, lady, you have that red something there for your stall. Them pretty, but they're not pretty like my red something. Shrap me some of me red something, and I will shrap you some of you. Give me some of your red something, and I will shop you back some of my red something. And the lady said, what it name? And he said, shop me first, and I tell you. And the lady said, tell me first, and I swap you. And he said, me now I tell you, because she's a surprise, and you have to give me what you have, and then I will give you what I have. And one little lady beside the lady with the both eat apples. She said, what are you arguing with the little man for? And look at him little and weird looking. Don't bother arguing with him. Just grab it from him. And Anansi said, grab it if you think your name bad woman. Grab it from me. And Anansi ducked. And he ran and he could run between people's legs. And he ran and somebody was running after him. And said, tap the little man there. Stop him. Hold him, hold him. Take the red something from him. And then now, you know how people fast. They don't know what are going on in the market. But they hear somebody say, stop them and they, them know swear say, a thief and Nancy thief something. So people start to shout, thief, 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 stop the thief. And they were running after him and there was this man who made it his point of duty to catch up with him. And just as Nancy was about to get held by the man, Nancy 
took the entire bundle of the red something and he dropped it into the pot of boiling water that the hominy lady had on the fire. She was just about to drop the hominy corn into the pot. She was about to make a big pot of hominy corn porridge. And you know, Jamaican people love them hominy corn. And she had all of the things, the cinnamon, the, 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 the nutmeg, everything. And oh my goodness, uh, the, the lady said, oh, what that? What are you dropping in my pot? What a red thing there? It a red up the water. And Nancy said, <laughs> you're going to know, you sure know. And the lady said, what? It's it, it red. And it, yes, and Nancy said, so red. The lady said, fever wine. And Nancy said, is it do only fever wine? It do only look like wine. But it's wine. He ran Nancy to himself. Lord, I hope it's no peasant. For me, I know nothing about it, but he may have to keep up the um, appearance. So then people started to gather around now. While and Nancy was there dancing around and say, This is so red. It is so nice. You're going to do about it. One man said, Give me some. And Nancy said, Not done brew yet. One man dip up. In, in, you know, they have the big spoon that the people, the hominy corn people use. And he take the hominy corn spoon and he dip up and, and throw it in one like a cup and taste as mm mm. This no mm mm. And Nancy said, I tell you that it don't finish brewing yet. I go and put things in here. And he saw the lady with the ginger on her stall. He said, Lady, give me a piece of that ginger. And he just grab some of the ginger and drop it into the pot. And then he saw the lady, how many lady had her nutmeg. And he grabbed the nutmeg and he said, Lady, I'm going to fix up this thing nice and you go and get some for drink. And he grated some nutmeg and dropped it in the pan. And then there was somebody who had Pimento near nearby, because remember, you know, we're in the market, and he grabbed some grains of the <laughs> of the pimento and dropped it in the pot, and he stirred so, and he stirred so, and he get the little cinnamon, cinnamon leaves and so, and he drop it in there, that, you know, that of course he took it from the lady with the hominy, and he stirred, and he stirred, and he stirred, and he stirred, and he said, wait, lady, don't say nothing because I'm coming up with something more. And Nancy tasted it. And it, it tasted good, flavorful and everything. But it never had no sugar in there. So, and Nancy said, ah, Lady, me know you're going to make your hominy in a little later from now. But beg you some of your sugar. And Nancy, without even waiting, he just grabbed the bag of sugar and he poured some into the pot. And he stored and he said, Now that you have all these little things, a little bit of cinnamon. And a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. A little bit of the... Of the the, the nutmeg and the cinnamon and and the pimento and a little of the ginger and now you're going to put in the sugar and you store it so and you store it so yes you store it so and you store it so and when you store it and you store it and you store it it gets sweet it get nice and then you dance to the beat as you store it. I say you store it. And then Nancy store and store and store. And when he don't know, he said, Tears it now. To the man now who was going on and on and wanted to catch him and call him thief. He said, Tears it. He dipped up some and put it in a cup and give it to the man. And the man tears it. He said, mm -mm. It's so nice. It's what? It's nice. And Nancy said, I tell you that it's so nice. It's so red. It's so real. It's nicer than wine. It's nicer than spice. It's so real. It's real, it's real, it's real. And you know what? One man over there who couldn't hear good what Nancy said. But he was in the excitement too and wanted to know. He said, the man said, yeah, I'm so real. So real. And then everybody came and wanted to taste it. Everybody wanted to taste it. So when Nancy saw how excited people were about this nice lovely warm drink with the ginger and and the pimento and the nutmeg and the, and the cinnamon and the sugar and, and everything he said look give me a penny give me a trapans and he started to sell the taste that he was giving away and before you knew it the entire pot of thing done and Nancy said this is so real to me so real you be so real you're going to name and from that day until today, it means so real. But